Alicia would not be impressed. Hey guys, Chevy here. It's like uh, Thursday morning? No, oh, Thursday at like 10. Got all my parts to turn this thing up just a hair. This P-Pump 12 valve in the bus. You guys rode cross country with us and back in this. Not fast enough. Uh, basically able to maintain about 50 miles an hour. If it's really flat, uh, you can get it to about 60 and it'll stay there. But after you get out of California, the speed limit's 75 plus all the way across. So um, going 50 and there's semi trucks passing you 75, 80 is terrible. So I ordered a fuel plate kit. I got a number 10, which is supposed to be like 50 horsepower, like 75 or 100 foot pounds. And I got governor spring so I can rev it 3,500 RPMs, which I say is safe on stock valve train and internals. If you want to rev it any higher than that, you got to change to like a 60 pound valve spring or something. I don't know. Random, you know, jargon on the internet. People just spout off. You don't know if it's true or not, but I'm one of those guys now. Uh, I'm going to pull this AFC housing off here. It's got a flat head, a tamper proof. So I'm going to have to whack a chisel in that screw, put a flat head in it and then buzz it out in two eight mils. So I'm pulling the bolts out and I got to pull this line off here too. Anyways, I'll get back to you when I get it pulled off. Okay guys, not having that complete access to all my tools kind of sucks. I've been having to dig through everything and try and find exactly what I need and I just can't get quite exactly what I need. But I got the AFC housing off and I wish I would have taken a picture, but all the screws were dead center. This thing was right in the middle. It was, it was turned way down, so was the fuel plate. I already pulled the fuel plate out, but you can see the spots from the washers. The bolts were dead centered in this. So what we're gonna do when we put it together is before we tighten this down, we're gonna slide it all the way so it has fuel, the full rack travel of the throttle. And then also the AFC housing, we're gonna, it slotted, the holes are. You can see the slotted holes in the AFC housing here. So we're gonna slide it all the way the same direction. So you get full travel of the throttle. Also, I notice that when I go full throttle on the pedal there and I can I can still move this a little bit So I'm gonna tighten that up take the slack out of it that number 10 fuel plate. You can also see it's kind of neat They like change the ramp So it changes when and how much fuel That it gives it Just like an accelerator pump ramp you see that the new one is the silver one here and see how it's a smooth transition instead of being square and then it has to go up those two steps on this one. So it's supposed to pick up quite a bit of power from this. That's going to be really nice. And uh, I've changed the governor springs now. I just rotated the motor over. I'll show you that. Down inside there, there's springs. You can see like a valve spring in there. Well. That's what controls how high you can rev the engine. It stops it stops giving it fuel at like, uh, was it 2,400 RPMs or something? Anyways. So the new ones are gonna be uh, 3,000 RPM governor spring. So it'll start defueling at like 3,100, but it revs, no, no, that's not right. It starts defueling at 3,400. So we'll have a good RPM range will be able to maintain 65, 70, hopefully, and that'll be just right. Maybe hit the hills uh, 45 instead of 25. Oh, that sounds really good to me. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, got them out of there. So this is the factory governor springs. You take the seat out, the small inside spring and the medium spring. There's a really big spring in there you leave because you're just changing the inner ones. So this comes as a 4,000 RPM governor kit. You take the little spring out of the center, it makes it 31. So I'm gonna leave that little spring there. This has a new seat on it. I'm gonna drop this whole unit down in there and put it back together. A little bit beefier than that one, lets it rev a little higher. So it has this seat on top of it. You can see there's another spring. You can tell the size of it. it goes around the outside of that. And it has this little wavy lock thing in there. It's like a flathead screwdriver slot and a stud that sticks up. And this is wavy too. Take a caliper, drop it down in there. See how far it's set on the stud. 
lock it. It's 50 thousandths. Well, it's 40, but uh, anyways, 40 thousandths. It's supposed to be between 40 and 60, I think is what the guy said usually anyways, but 40 thou. I'm going to put this back together. This one's out. I'm not going to use that one ever again. Little baby springs. I'm going to save these little guys, so if I ever decide this needs to be like a drag bus, I'm not going to save those. <laughs> And put these springs back in. I got to spin it over. There's one more set in there. Luckily, I got the Cummins tool so I can spin a spin it over with a ratchet, which is really nice. Um, I'll get that other set of springs up and take it out, do the same exact thing, put it back together, and then I can start working on the fuel plates. I've been watching all kinds of videos for the last, like, month on how to do this, so I am a professional. <laughs> okay, guys. I got the governor springs changed. There's the two old ones with the 4K springs in there. I left them out. It was really hard for me to do, but I did it. Anyways, yeah, you can see that spring down in there. See the keeper on top of it? That slotted keeper. Anyways, there's two of those. They're 180 degrees apart. Change those, then it revs higher because it gives it fuel up higher. That sounds stupid, but that's the, way, that's the only way you control a diesel is fuel. They don't have uh, spark, so fuel timing and fuel amount. Crazy stuff. Anyways, got to change this nipple in here. Supposed to be a couple more pounds of boost. And going to grind the edge off of the washer in here on the smoke screw so I can get a little more out of it. And put that fuel plate in and... Dang, we're on the on the downhill side of it now. I can put the fuel plate in right now, actually. Cool. Awesome. Cool, 50 horse blade installed. This is slotted holes. We want it all the way as far as it'll go that direction so we have the most amount of travel. Man, it just feels funny. Wanna have the most amount of travel possible. Cool, so we'll tighten that. standard slot screws mm. okay now I just have to well put this back on but I'm gonna change that out first well I never get that lucky it just started up first try doesn't look like anything's leaking I didn't have a runaway or anything cool like that here we go that's awesome No constant smoke back here. Cool. Go take it for a test pop. Too. You don't have to lift. 
race bus now, bud. 65. Woo! <laughs>